the time now. It's seven o'clock in the morning. I'm on next Monday morning, July 21st, 2049. Monday morning, time now for the one minute issue. PJ weighs the more important. Monday morning, July 21st, 2014. <laughs> Uh, good morning to you on this lovely Monday morning here. International Current editions at 7 o'clock in North Massachusetts. We got a temperature of 62 degrees. We have a fog in the mist. Humidity 93%. Wind speed north about 5 miles per hour. 3.17 inches. 2.60 degrees. Invisibly of 6 miles. Alright. Let's take a look at our radar scope. It shows spotty range as in around the Norton area here in Norton. Spotty range as Easter Rockland and between Norwell and Hanover and situate here. And batch range as around Seacock in the East Providence. Line of range shows off the Capney Islands here. Well, improved conditions today finally help firefighters get the upper hand. And breaking up is good to do just months after their very... A lot of rain showers from east central portions of New Brunswick and western and east central portions of Nova Scotia's spotty rain shows the south central portions of Prince Edward Island. Line of rain shows the east central river. This is today. Seems some line of rain showers in the northeast and the north central Ontario on the line of showers and storms from central Virginia down to the Carolinas and off the Georgia and eastern Florida coastlines and spotty rain showers in east central Tennessee. Northeastern Alabama, northwestern Georgia, and line of showers and storms from the Gulf states. Have gone through. Now to have to just wonder what to their loved ones. Quickly turned it outrage. Line of, yeah, and I think it is really an international disgrace this morning. It's a rain shots west central Texas line of rain shots from north central Mexico. Down through west. Not even Mexico line of rain shots in north central California and up in the northwestern. Nevada down for Idaho, West Mountain and, and Wyoming and down through western Alberta and after Southeast of British Columbia batches of rain shots and storms from northeast and north the code enough is stuff he's doing. Manitoba and I'm southwestern Ontario. We're here. Vincent, Kentucky. Good morning. It's 68 degrees with close guys. Line of range has the stuff he's doing. coming in southwestern Oregon here. Turn it on the satellite. Look, beer, and it shows. Line of clouds covered in from coastal Maine and covered in much of Atlantic Canada. Batch clouds from Virginia switching out for the Carolinas and Virginia and then Northern Florida. And off the Gulf Coast. Line of clouds from North Central Mexico down for the Four Quarter region and Mina and Ran. West Central Nebraska down for Western South Dakota. Line of rain clouds from North Central California and Northern Nevada and up the British down for the Four Pacific and North Western North West Wyoming and down for Western Montana. That was Southern Saskatchewan and Northern down for the British Columbia. Line of rain clouds from Southern. Manitoba for West and North Northwestern Maine. So the North and North East and North Dakota. Line of clouds from situation. Ontario and uh, from UP Michigan now for Eastern Ontario now for Western. Ontario and Eastern Ontario. Right here. Cold front off the British Columbia and Washington and Oregon coastline. Now the line of clouds from the Pennsylvania North West stretch merging with the cold front from Montana. Down to North Dakota, up in the northern Minnesota, and up in Ontario, and then have a station front from the Gulf of Mexico, searching up the off the Carolina coast and out to sea, and a pink front with low pressure off the New England coastline. High pressure in northern New England, Virginia, western Tennessee, Four Corner region, and we got low pressure in Oregon, western Texas, and off the New England coastline. Further by from western Pennsylvania, down for seven Ohio, eastern Kentucky, and Tennessee. Further by South Dakota, down for central Nebraska, down for western Kansas, Oklahoma, down for western Texas. Here, and further by from southern Nevada, down for southeastern California. 62 degrees of temperature in Boston. It is 73 yards in Washington, D.C. and Atlanta. 78 in Miami, 80 in Brantville. 75 in Dallas, Texas. 73 in Kansas, 65 in Chicago, 75 in Minneapolis. 73 out in Albuquerque, 69 in Denver. 70 in Salt Lake City, 16 in Great Falls, Montana. 59 in Seattle, 66 in San Francisco, and 67 out in Los Angeles. There. Current conditions around the region. We have a 62 degree temperature reading for Boston. 56 for Pittsburgh, 61 in Bedford, 16 in Beverly, 58 in Gloucester, 57 in Haverhill. And in Worcester, 55 in Surbridge, 59 in Webster, 61 out in 
Milford 62 and Norwood 61 and Taunton 63 and New Bedford. It's 63 in Falmouth and Brown Sand 64 in Shadham and Marfa's Vineyard 67 in Cape Cod Bay 62 in Nantucket. It's 64 in Block Island Westway 59 in Smithfield 57 and then the AMSA 9 1 quarter in the Massachusetts from Greenfield down for Amherst and Springfield. 54 in enough Hams and Pittsfield at 65 in Albany, 56 in Bainton, 56 in Bramwell, Vermont, 54 in Keene, Hampshire, it's 56 in Coconut, National Hampshire, 55 in Manchester, Hampshire, 57 in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, 58 from Winslow, Hopson, Hartford, and Meriden, 57 in Waterbury and Danbury, 60 in New Haven, 65 in Long Island, 63 in Bridgeport, 67 in New York City, 62 in Nisselbet, 65 out in Montauk. All right, let's take a look at our forecast discussion here around the country here. There'll be a slight risk of severe thunderstorms from Putty to the Normal Plains to the Upper Great Lakes. There'll be a embedded region of moderate risk of severe thunderstorms from parts of the Normal Plains to the Upper Miss Parts of the Upper Mississippi Valley. And heavy rain possible from the plains, parts of the Dover Plains to the Upper Great Lakes. A slow moving front extended from the Upper Mississippi Valley to the Dover into the Mountain Region will advance eastward to the Upper Great Lakes and its southward to the Central Plains by Tuesday evening. <laughs> High moisture content here will strike with a battery producer shower that thunderstorms with a heavy rain over the North Dakota to Minnesota Monday evening moving into the Upper Great Lakes by Tuesday morning. By Tuesday evening, shots of thunderstorms will extend from the Great Lakes to the parts of the Middle Mississippi Valley. Meanwhile, upper level impulses over the north of the Bernard region, along with a close upper level low, will rotate to the past of the north west coast, will produce showers and thunderstorms over the parts of the Great Basin of the Bernard region, but parts of the northern Rockies and northern Iron Plains throughout Tuesday, as the upper level low closes into the past of the northwest bay. Will develop over the parts of the day northwest of Tuesday. In the meantime, upper level energy over the lower Great Lakes will both eastward out and over the western Atlantic, triggering showers and thunderstorms over the parts of the central Nevada Appalachians on Monday. An initial upper level energy over the southern Gulf Coast will be producing showers and thunderstorms from the central Gulf Coast to the southeast and southern Middle Island on Monday. On Tuesday, the showers and thunderstorms will become more combined to the southeast and the immediate central Gulf Coast and Florida. Elsewhere, weak but sort of moisture and uh, really heat. It will produce showers and thunderstorms over the parts of the day. Several records I played throughout the late after the evening hours on the Monday and Tuesday. All right, let's take a look at the forecast discussion around the country here. Andrew Mitchell, thank you so much. David Remick is the editor of the New Yorker and has covered Russia extensively. David, good morning. Good to see you. Good to see you. Showers will move offshore this morning as high pressure builds over the high will bring mainly dry conditions by decreasing heat and humidity in the midweek. A cold front arrive is late Wednesday to the Thursday for after the trend is for drier and less humid air. Not, not as warm conditions arrive later. Thursday and early this weekend. Near term at 6 p.m. this evening, low pressure continues to deepen the well east of the Nantucket and Cape Cod this morning. But as it also the weak to information that the snowfront required is working on moisture trapped in the lower 300 HPA to bring periodic many shit drizzle to portions of the right out of southeast Massachusetts. Not until it's at the short wave energy and low pressure moving further east by about mid border that will be fully move offshore than the river. Therefore, have gradually diminished pops across the region for about 15 days. QPF is expected to be light from now on, mainly between the temperature and the ditch. Of our spot, they boarded the cold temperature expected across the Western Valley thanks to radiation cooling processes and the mainly clear sky the light flow. After the federal showers, it may take a bit longer for all of the cold Hope of these close to break up as a moisture becomes trapped beneath that building substance and inversion. This combined with another day of mainly no in the east flow is likely to lead to a high temperature flow normal, especially closer to the eastern coast. However, building high pressure content to the burn meter high will be gradually allowed for clearing the front of the afternoon and evening, which may allow a late day spike in temperatures. Can no more temperatures look good? Humidity should still stay well to be lower as mixing is likely to keep two parts of the mid and up to lower 50s here. State controlled media, which is essential to this picture, to rain it in. Take a look at the latest in the tropics there. State television, which is how everybody, almost everybody, gets their information in Russia. It's virulent. And he has unleashed this, and it's up to him. In the Atlantic, we are watching a variety of low pressure located about 1,000 miles west southwest of the Cape Verde Islands and continues to produce this one. I shall have to tell us what's in the system should be a slow to occur over the next couple of days. While it moves to the western, western northwest at 15 to 20 miles per hour after that time, and rapid conditions are expected to become unfavorable for the development. Formation chest by 4 hours, low about 10%. Formation chest by 5 days, low about 10%. Yeah. 
And in the Eastern Pacific, yeah. His popularity in the old days was based on enormous... Sharon Dunstrom activities were in association with an area of low pressure located about 850 miles. South, southwest of Manzano, Mexico. Some slow development in the system is still possible during the next few days while it moves westward or north. West, northwest, with about 50 miles per Formation chest by 40 hours. Low about 10% information chest by 5 days. Low about 20%. These 10 Overnight after they tunneled into southern Israel. Meantime, two Americans were among the dead on the Israeli side. Right. The latest on Typhoon Mapmo here. Fire. NBC's chief foreign correspondent Richard Engels in Gaza City. Richard, good morning to you. Good morning, Carlson. Secretary Kerry is sent to Cairo to try to revive an Egyptian ceasefire. This after the deadliest day yet so far in this conflict. Over 110 Palestinians killed. At least 13 Israeli soldiers also killed. Two of them also U.S. citizens. Alright, the latest on Matmo is now at Category 1 Typhoon with a wind speed of 80 miles by gusts up to 100 miles per hour. And it's going to make landfall in north central Taiwan as a Category 3 storm on Tuesday afternoon Eastern Time. And it's going to make second landfall either at 1 or 2 in southeastern China. So, those of you in southeastern China and around Taiwan, be prepared for what Matmo has to bring for you, okay? Alright, let's take a look at today's highs. We are going to see a widespread Temperature range of 75 to 85 degrees, 85 up in Burlington, Vermont to 78 in Boston. So, today's temperature range will be 75 to 85 degrees, except for a lone 67 degree reading in Eastport, Maine. A massacre. Bodies in the streets. A journalist killed. A Temperatures near to below normal today will increase to about normal tomorrow, and then around 90 degrees by Wednesday. With the morgue quickly filled up. Palestinians say Israel's fire was indiscriminate. So, more than 70 Palestinians killed in the Shujaia neighborhood. 80 to 90 degrees for tomorrow. And Wednesday we will see close to 90 degrees there. But it's still too dangerous to go back to their neighborhood. So they're just sleeping here in the parking lot. Israel and Palestinians both bury their dead in a conflict that shows no signs of letting up. Take a look at our view from the outside. Shows sun's trying to peek out of the clouds on this beautiful morning here. All right. Let's take a look at our seven-day. Is now to Lake Washington with the very latest on the conditions there. Jacob, good morning. Natalie, good morning. Conditions today are better than they have been for a week, and the fire is now burning in an area where. Okay. Today's severe weather outlook here. Firefight the governor calls unprecedented in Washington State. The largest wildfire in Washington. Which is a slight risk from the eastern Dakotas, now from Minnesota, now from western Wisconsin. Moderate is from east central not to put in the north parts of Minnesota, so that they side west carry from Minneapolis and St. Paul, Minnesota, Rochester, Minnesota, Duluth, Minnesota, Bloomington, Minnesota. And moderate risk for severe wear from Fargo and Bismarck, North Dakota, and Grand Forks, North Dakota, more at Minnesota, and West Fargo, North Dakota. Here. Hail damage winds. I say tornado can't be ruled out. Here. Power outage forced the Smith family to quickly evacuate. And fire weather elevated alert from 7 to 5 and after 7 Central Utah, Northwest of Colorado, and 7. Warm and isolated direct news from Southern Idaho, Northwestern Utah, and Nevada, in East Nectar Region, California. Seven day forecast goes like this for today. Most of God's skies. After most of God's skies, and grass becoming sunny skies after 79 degrees in each, with about 3 to 6 miles per hour. Tonight, patch of after 1 a.m. of most of good skies, 61 degrees, and light of variable wind. Tuesday, patch of before 7 a.m. of odds, most of the sun skies are near 86 degrees and calm wind becoming southwest by 5 to 8 miles by the afternoon. So, then, patch of after 3 a.m. of odds, patch of sky alone, 67 degrees and southward about 7 miles per hour. Wednesday, patch of before 8 a.m. and of odds, most of the sun skies are near 85 degrees and southwest with about 8 to 14 miles per hour. Wednesday, night, chance of showers and southwards may after midnight, most of the sky alone, 71 degrees and chance of precipitation is 40%. Thursday, chance of showers and southwards, most of the sky skies are higher than 79 degrees and chance of precipitation is 50%. For the night, most of the sky is alone 60 degrees. Friday, most of the sky is under 79 degrees. Friday night, most of the coast sky is alone 60 degrees. And for Saturday, the sky is under 83 degrees. Friday night, most of the sky is alone 62 degrees. And for Sunday, most of the sky is under 80 degrees. Here.
Pears, what a phrase of the day! Turn gonna be turned into mostly sunny after a cloudy start to the Monday morning here. Peter Challenge News Time, 714 time now for the little traffic report. And it shows 95 and 24, 95 slow from Norwood to 120 in Canton, 24 slow from Avon to 120 in Braintree on 24 north, and 3 north will slow from Weymouth to the Braintree split. There, Southeast Express Week slow from Braintree split to Rochester, Mass Pike will slow from Freeman needed. And from Weston all the way down to Newton on the west east bound side to the Exxon west bound side of the Mass to choose the turnpike ground. Route 9 in Framingham here. And 93 South slow from Stoneham all the way down for the Zaken Bridge here. 128 South and Low Slow from Linfield all the way down for Woburn and 128 Slow from Route 3 in Burlington all the way down Route 2 in Lexington here. And 128 in Northbound Side Slow from 95 in Norwood all the way out, out to 135 in Needham. Doing an exit to the done. 128 Northbound in Westwood near Exit 13, University Avenue Exit. Route 3 South Slow from 495 Chelsea to North Bill Wicker. 93 South Exit and 133 in Andover. And 95 Northbound in Exit in New Willowdale State Forest. But 393 95 from 120 to New Hampshire border here. 495 one fine from Amesbury all the way down to like, we're, we're hamming. But otherwise, 95 and 24 one fine the rest way from 120 to the Brown border both sides. Route 3 one fine from Weymouth down to Sagamore. And the word around highways of Mulan fine at 195 one fine for Providence of Work in the Cape. Highways one fine at 6 and 28. Let's take a look at our latest in the news here. On this Monday morning, U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry is making a renewed peace push for a ceasefire between Israel and Hamas. Here, we have another trip to the Middle East after the civilian death toll on the conflict sharply escalated over the weekend. Spoke by the afternoon, Israeli missile hits Shadja and neighbor in Gaza City, Northern Gaza Strip, Sunday, July 20th, 2014. As hundreds of panic residents have fled the neighborhood, which, as they say, they come out of heavy take fire with Israeli forces. Some of the seen dead and wounded in the states with ambulances is unable to be to the area. Israel wired its credit defense of early Sunday, set aboard troops to the Hamas real territory. The U.S. accused Russia of hiding evidence after the death of the Flight 78 has had its video posted on social media, a major part of the footage released by the Ukrainian interior minister perpetrated to show okay. a trap carrying a missile system out of Ukraine toward reactions to the death of James Gordon, who died Saturday at the age of 86. Tom Silk said, Jim was a mentor to me and a friend, and I will miss him. Tom said, who was early as career guest started career the series, The Rock for Files. In Winford, Washington, forecasters say global winds and cool temperatures are headed for a fire scorch region of Washington state conditions that could help firefighters that are battling against wildfires that have tried hundreds of square miles of trade. In Roy McElroy, the Royal and Ancient Club have been a magnificent championship in the world of golf at the beginning of a new era, and where he's win was achieving two superstar silent. Straight surgery gets to get a very good wake and they will be in majors. Indonesia's election commission is on a course to release the results of a July 9th presidential election by tomorrow, even as a term of general. External problems swept down with a call for delay. Kyber Egypt River, Libyan military's battle for control of the capitals in the international report of Sunday, fighting for the kill of at least three people, security officials said. A report from the United Nations nuclear agency said, I read as compared to our deluded to talk about with the highly rich uranium. As called for an agreement in the country breach with a group of six world powers last November. In U.S. news, Ras from Sleep in Detroit, from inside of the pond in the wee house, a suburban Detroit man grabbed a shotgun over the fire. And Julie Andrews. Your are in Boston, young doing a face on the front door after you open it. Big idea. 91 Oregon's last Republican governor who was by political friends of both sending that as elected official. Who spared Oregon's relationship Asia business markets while also desperated that could cost can finish first. Dead at the age of 91. A pit bull attack that killed a seven month old child in Dayton now on Sunday. The Dayton Daily News reported the attack occurred in the sound of home. About 5,000 gallons of diesel fuel spilled from the engine of a champagne bound Canadian National Railway train that came out of tracks near Singer, Wisconsin. McDonald's Corporation and Young Brand Incorporated are ensured that another food safety scandal in China. The two companies have suspended orders from a Shanghai meat supply while Chinese authorities investigate allegations that the company sold expired chicken. No, yeah, Russian steel company Severso Zexin in the United States market seeking a pair of steel plants at AK Steel and Steel Damage for about $2.33 billion. Rupert Murdoch's funded by Time Warner would help the 21st century Fox chairman make large chain runs in China fast forward market that mean the moguls are finding hard to crack. Dave Lewis will have a shopping basket full of problems as the incumbent chief executive of Tesco will 
tell Elo that the board as a prophet warded. That is the issue along with the news of the departure of the Philip Clark and Elijah. Tesco faces a deep stressful. Hong Kong. China is a chair made a tepid start with a week that will feature the opening subscription of new purchase of initial public offerings, IPOs, fire, and fear that. That's well. Feds will be drawn away from existing stocks there. In technology news, should the best be better protected when playing all like EU Commission to close it up, goods crack down. A New York judge defended a controversial order that gave the government access to all content of the GBL account of targeted money laundering investigation holder that courts have long recognized that the property they fell law. A sex trial we used a 50 Mbps connection able to upload a five minute high definition video that would down to 40 seconds. General Motors ordered its Canada division deal to stop sell some older versions of its souvenir tartar bottles because of the ignition switch recall. Entertainment News latest episode of the Planet of the Apes saga topped the box office of the United States and Canada for a second week. Reddit, Daughter Planet of the Apes took $36 million on the ticket sales in the second weekend. Probably best known for a child star world of Mel Gibson's daughter and the Patriots, Sky McCall, but Strecker was found dead at home in Houston, Texas on Saturday. Former member of Destiny Child, Fair Franklin got a respite, disorder conduct. Miss Piggy, Armando Inucci, and Brian Kess highlight that CCA was a Saturday was an excellent at a straight jet. To be a member of the Television Critics Association, on the other hand, we are. Held our Idol TCA Award ceremony filled with terrific winners and given terrific speeches. In sports, the Boston Red Sox fate the Kansas City Royals yesterday at Fenway Park, six enough to sweep the Royals, and today the Sox will get a four. Day series against the Toronto Blue Jays tonight and Toronto Air. The travails of defensive tackle Buster Darius continues to with the Buffalo Bills head coach Doug Marone announced that the defensive tackle did not pass the condition test and does not clear the path towards the Bills. What we kept. Buzz Aldrin, living legend, was one of the very few humans to ever walk in the booth these days. Aldrin has fashioned himself as an elder statement for space exploration and sets the sights at higher bars. In Rockland Bay, the Kids after great seals were all wiped out on New England waters, they published as they matter so much after the frustrated residents were called for control and hunt. Health news. Shay Mikinis Gonzalez men denied engage in risky behaviors after being circumcised for a certain kidney by University of Illinois and Chicago researchers. Acer Equa and Swanet Ferris has been finding mosquitoes in Massachusetts for the first time this year, according to a statement from the Massachusetts Department of Health. And that's me at Fada. Morning report on this July 21st, 2014. On a Monday morning, I'll be with you. Have a good day with a good positive attitude. See you at the evening report at 5 o'clock. Have a good day. And a good positive attitude, dear.